Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Strategy Secrets. In this video, I want to share with you a couple of things. One is when you see a double top or a double bottom, what are some things you can do with that? Many times a double top will represent that the market's going to change. Sometimes it gives, gives you a triple top. Uh, occasionally it'll rest for a while and actually even break through that. But when you see the double top, that's a sign to start looking, uh, we think, in some lower time frames and see if you can figure out how to do the breakout. When's it going to turn? That's an early, early strategy. So see double tops, start looking for smaller time frames. So we saw this double top on this four hour. I'm hiding all the information off to the side. I want to develop this thing so you can see what we were looking at as we saw the, the trade. Now I moved to a one hour time frame. You can see I have a, a little box. You'll see it as we go along uh, more clearly. But there's a box right here. And on a smaller time frame, this indicates the sideways movement of the market at that point in time. So this is where the uh, four hour was when we saw the double top and we first observed it. Notice this red color change here on this indicator. That was our first heads up. And it changed and it went down below that point and then went back up and uh, opened up and was show you what we were thinking uh, as the best way to, to trade this. So once you see these channels form, no matter which time frame they're on, then you can start to determine how to trade the breakout. So this was a heads up right here that we should start looking for short trades. So we confirm that by going and looking at a 30 minute time frame. 30 minute confirmed that that was the, uh, a good signal to take a short on. Now you're starting to see the, the channel that this was in. Let's go to the 15 minute. It even confirmed, not that it was ready to take, but it confirmed that was the direction it was going. Now we're going to go clear to a 5 minute time frame. Now this is the way that we've found, even though we don't like trading the five minute per se, we like trading the larger time frames. Here's a little strategy that when you see one of these boxes, now right back here, you can draw the, the box. We drew it clear back here because that was two fractals that were forming the double top and then a bottom part where we're seeing a fractal. So that is the channel. Now when the market comes from the top of a channel, the challenge is for it to just keep on breaking through, going straight down and breaking through. You can see right here that it uh, has bounced back and forth between that. Now is, the question is, is it going to bounce off the bottom and go back to the top, or is it going to bounce off the bottom and then move a little bit uh, higher and then come back down? So as we go through this, okay, here's where it started. This is where the question comes. Is that a breakout or is that a false breakout? Well, you need that five minute bar to close below a few times, below that bar. This was drawn before that five minute got over to there. Here, here it was at the top, now here it's at the bottom. Now you want it to confirm, so it needs to close below that line you've drawn there three times, three bars. See the next bar, it didn't close below, so the confirmation uh, held. Now we have to start over again and count the bars. Did that close below? Yes. Did that close below? Yes. Did that close below? Yes. But the other thing is, look at the, it closed higher each time. So that is a, a sign that it's still kind of weak, meaning that it came down and it tried to test this, but it didn't make it through. So knowing that, that it, it was weak on the breakout, then it's probably going to go back up into the box again and when it breaks out the second time, that is probably going to be your higher uh, probability of a, a trade going short. It's really easy to see on this five minutes. That's what we're showing you the, here. And see what it did? It went back up into the uh, middle of that box. Now we're looking for it to break out. So when it breaks below that bottom blue line, and we get a signal to enter, that's when we're wanting to, to enter the trade. Then we'll see what actually happened in this trade. See, there's a heads up. It turned red again on this five minutes saying that momentum's down. Let's see if that even holds. It kept on going down. Now it's still hovering. And then it really jumped and popped out. There's once. There's twice. There's a third one. Okay, right in here would be your confirmed entry signal right there. So really on the next bar after this, 
is when you'd actually be taking the trade. That's as far as we drew the, the channel box, but it did break below, and that would be the entry point. Now let's see what it did long term. We can see where the price is at right now because that's where it's moving, so it is below. But you can see that it uh, it had a nice run down until the, the breakout would be from here down to here, which is a good 20 pips at that point. And it came a little retracement and kept on going down. And of course, we would manage this on a larger time frame to uh, select our exit. But at the point that it hit the bottom, here's about 30 pips. And that's making sure that you got a good breakout. You could have actually taken the trade right on this bar and not wait for the third one because of it was the second time coming back through. So you could have taken it actually uh, almost 8 pips earlier. And for a total of about 40 pips on that one little trade, seeing a double top and timing the entry on a 5 minute. And we'll scroll across here so you can see what it actually has done. You can see that the market actually, the momentum was slowing and going sideways. And so if you're managing it there, you could say, okay, I'm going to be out of this trade. And it did make a retracement. It came back up to the point where you got in to the trade. And now you can see what the current uh, time frame is doing. It's just hovering along, and we feel like it, over a long term it's going to uh, go short. But that's how you would trade a breakout, seeing a double top on a 4-hour. And you can see a double top on a day and go down to the 4-hour or the 1-hour. Uh, but when you see double tops, that's a sign that it's uh, a possibility of changing directions or double bottom changing direction and then you can actually get a little channel most of the times when it does that there's a channel forming and that's what we saw here was this little channel now to look at the whole thing all at once we started looking at it clear back in here and this is where we actually saw the one hour tell us oh heads up go look short it had a false breakout but it didn't go clear up and touch the top again so now on this breakout, that gives us a good signal right here when we have a what we call a five alarm trade. The trade could have been taken there for the 10 pips more, and it actually came back up and would give us, a, give us another uh, point to enter there. So that's how to, to look at double tops and a sideways market on the smaller time frames, how you can time the entry. Hope that was of help to you. Uh, if you like what you see, go to forexstrategysecrets.com and log in and come and visit with us in our trading rooms. Talk to you later. Bye.